and one more terminology that is related to your again compound interest that is called repayment of loan that will be always calculated in CI not SI SI it will not calculated all loan amount will calculated in CI then here just will take example amount borrowed P repayment period is an installment interest rate is R percent annually then just will calculate in reverse way of the normal calculation like present value what we are doing in same we will just apply P equal to XY 1 plus RY 100 plus XY 1 plus RY 100 to a square plus P X plus 1 Y uh, RY 100 to the power Q like this we will add all amount that will give you the principal amount that will give you the principal amount after every installment what will happen you are giving the equal installment XXX the number of years will keep on change last installment will be applicable only for one year second last will be applicable for two years and this will be applicable for n, n years that that way only we are finding that way only we are finding the present value present value means p it will come converting to x in r percent n years okay just we have to add add all value all present value you add that will give you the principal value x will be equal to equal installment either annually or something will be given but here it will be equal installment annually installment can be equal also cannot be equal also we have seen already if it is not equal then what we have to do if it is if it is equal we can apply this concept if it is not equal then individually we have to calculate but one thing is sure if individually you have to calculate the number of years will be hardly given two or three otherwise it will be very difficult very tedious to complicate it will become very tedious to calculate then here p equal to this pv into one present value one present value two it will present value n this is simple this we have taken as a k in this form just to reduce the looking as otherwise calculation looks very heavy just we are reducing by one uh, variable k then it will become p equal to x into k plus k square like this one this we have converted into k then k plus k square k q then it will come like this this is sum of geometric this is k plus k square plus k q it is a geometric progression gp sum of the gp it formula is k into k to the power n minus 1 divided by k minus 1 we know already this is not a big thing then x just to put the reverse it will come p into k by 1 divided by k into k to the power n minus 1 or you just put k equal to 1 plus r by 100 you will get this one p into r by 100 my into this, this this now to just writing way it looks more smooth if this r by 100 you are writing r again okay this r by 100 you have taken r just for calculation means percentage you have just uh, written in the form of fraction or decimal then if you will convert like this this same formula will convert x equal to p into r to the power p into r into 1 plus r to the power n divided by 1 plus r to the power n minus 1 okay now two situation can be this is your given equal installment that is your x if installment is equal then you can apply this formula directly now two situations two situation can be arise one is if installment is not equal then what to do then you have to calculate individually but one thing is sure here number of years cannot be more than very high it cannot be more than two three years otherwise it will be difficult to calculate second is if equal equal installment paid monthly in place of annually that is called emi emi is equal installment only but we are paying monthly then how to calculate EMI? EMI R will become total whatever net interest is there R divided by 12 because one year is one year is converted into 12 equal month then R by 12 into 100 R equal to annual rate of interest for n years the number of installment will become 12 into n earlier number number of year was n now it will become number of uh, number of installment or number of n years how many time period will become in one year 12 time period then n year 12 n just to put in formula emi equal to p into r by 100 into 1 plus r by 12 to the power 12 n and 1 plus this 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 where what is r here r by 100 we have taken in already in the form of fraction if we are taking directly not in the form of fraction then you can write this formula in same way like p into r by 12 into 100 and same way 1 plus r by 12 into 100 to the power 12 this way any of the way this is not a big thing either we are just representing in the form of percentage or we are writing in the form of fraction but in uh, emi you have to divide by 12 then only we will able to calculate the 